So Colorado had their first strength and conditioning workouts. They also had team meetings where Coach Prime went over some rules, classroom rules, and things of that nature. So I'm very excited to react to this video. What's good, YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stopping by for the first time, hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also, click the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be aware. So go ahead and hit the notification bell. On campus, we're not going to wear shirtless, uh, sleeveless shirts on campus. You're not going in the room with your pants hanging down to your butt. Why? That's enough like Because some of the GA, some of the sports staff on this wall, and even myself, will show up in your classroom just to check. So I want you in the front of that class. And I want you being a leader, a leader, a leader in the front of that class and dress appropriately. Especially if you go in there with our wonderful branded gear on and you're acting a complete idiot in that class. Quickly, Coach Prime jumped right into it as far as dress code. Don't be sagging. Make sure you guys sit in the front of the classroom. When you're carrying a shield, you are a leader. Carry yourself like a leader. Believe it or not, a lot of these students and the staff, all of these people look up to these players. So when you pass by these beautiful young women, uh, I don't know if they grace you to call them by their name or their type, you find out. Um, to not be mistaken, I would say, man, until they check you and say, I'm not that old, okay? But be courteous, be gracious, and be polite. And if there's any um, dysfunction of obstruction with your girlfriend, fiance, or whoever, with any abuse, that's it. It's over. Don't call me. Don't have your mama call me. Don't call Rick. It's a wrap. You understand that? We're going to respect our women wholeheartedly. Thank you, ladies. Sounds like a simple rule, but this happens more often than not. Sadly, a lot of times, abuse towards women come from your football players when we talk about on campus and even on the NFL level. You know, you had the Ray Rice situation, Antonio Brown. So, Coach Prime is doing a good thing as far as trying to address this right now. <laughs> This football has finally begun for these players. Now we're about to see who won it and who don't. But this reminds me when I used to have to get up at 4 and 5 a.m. You question yourself, do I really want it? Of all levels of football, being a college football player is the most challenging. I say that because you have to go to class, you have to study, you have to uh, practice, you have to do your homework, you have to go to team meetings, position meetings. When you injured or even when you hurt, you have to go get treatment. And then you have to make the right decisions. If you don't, you are out of there. We start today. I'm excited. I'm ready to start class. I'm ready to get to work. This is all my new thing. 30 minutes before the class, I'm studying the material. 30 minutes before, every day. That's it? Just 30 minutes? Okay, every day. You're not studying after the class? Oh, no, for sure. Every day. We in the library hard. That was a given, though. We working. We have an academic facility right next to the facility. That's lit. These two young ladies that just spoke, they are former trainers at Jackson State University. Coach Prime brought them over. For those that like to talk about Coach Prime and Jackson State, HBCUs, he don't care, woot the woot. He brought coaches, he brought players, and he brought trainers. Let's figure out what we're doing with them. Yeah. They're here just to do this. That's right. And they are really good. Good. Or they wouldn't be here. So what's their daily routine? Is here the game plan? Absolutely. What is what? Switched it up. Switched it up. Yeah, yeah, switched it up on us, you know. Things got a little better, huh? They tell you what they do there. They pretty much. Um, um, so this is a uh, this is a class four laser. Um, what's really cool about this? See if you guys remember your uh, high school biology class. Do you remember what the uh, mitochondria does? Nope. <laughs> the powerhouse of the cell. There you go. Uh, 
cells to the cell. So why that's important is because the laser works on a cellular level. So it helps stimulate the mitochondria inside each cell. Can you can you explain to people how how is it how is it adapting? Because everyone thinks they always got to be the one instead of like you you understand how to play the two, the three, the four, the five. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like oh if, I, if I'm not the head honcho, if I'm not this, I don't even want to be part of. It. You know what I'm saying? So how 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 is it adapting to that or? Is there anything you could tell the, the youth or anybody that's just on some? If I'm not the big dog or if I'm not the boss, I don't even want to be part of it. I, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's all about who you surround yourself around as well. You know, um, you can learn from anybody and you don't have to be the main guy uh, to learn and get better. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about the opportunity and situation. Any situation or any opportunity can help you grow and become the man again. Um, but learning to adapt to, you know, being the two to three, um, I didn't mind. You get what I'm saying? Um, I've been I've been at that level. I've been a head coach at that level. And right now, man, I think it's a it's a bigger opportunity, opportun a better opportunity for me. One day, you know, like when I'm 50 years old, to be another be a head coach again, and, and just get just get under some. Um, Great coaches, man, and learn from the best. And, and and then when I go back and become a head coach again, I know exactly what to do and how to do it, no matter at what level. Not like now, I've been at every level from D two, uh, Division one A, um, and Division one AA. So I've I've done it all. So man, um, man, it's about just playing your part, man, and doing what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do um, when you're supposed to do it. And it, it, it's not even about being the man or being at the top, man. I know some people at the end of the day want to be, you know, be the guy. But until you be the guy and, and then you hit with all the problems and now you got to mm -hmm. answer every every call and, 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 and adjust and make sure everything you're taken care of. But it was fun. No, don't get me wrong. I learned a lot. But right now, man, it's, it's, it's a different chapter in my life, man. And I look forward to, um, you know, working with Coach Prime and, and, and making sure that Colorado gets the best of me. The process, man. Your time is coming. You don't have to be number one or the big dog. If anything, you can even be the last person. Brock Purdy is an example of this, the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. He on his way to play in the NFC Championship game. And he was the last pick of the draft. So this is one of the things I struggle with as an athlete. I used to want to be the number one. If I'm not the number one, I'm going to leave. I transferred from different colleges, and the only thing I was doing was hurting myself and wasting a lot of time. I thought it was a great video as you guys just witnessed Coach Prime taking care of his office. He leads by example. You can just look at how he carry himself and know he mean business. Um, he take care of his office. They say he does this three times a week and from the time he arrived to the time that he leaves. So that says a lot about his character. But overall, great video. If you guys like this video, definitely like and subscribe to the channel.